Hi and welcome to part 2 of the Maps I add in for Excel video series. In this video we'll take a look at the interactive map and its features. First of all let's just check out the map pane itself. We can resize this pane just by dragging it out of our spreadsheet. We can interact with the features by clicking on them. Clicking on a pin will relocate our spreadsheet to the corresponding row. And likewise, if we click a row in our spreadsheet, it'll recenter the map on that pin. Taking a look at the map itself, we can see we have the legend in the bottom left hand corner, a scale in the right hand corner, and a tooltip there showing us the position of our cursor. We can use the search bar to find places on the map. Let's try that now. Let's enter Port Macquarie and head over there. And there you go, it recenters us on that location. We can clear that just by hitting the cross. Opening up the map menu provides us with the manual zoom in and zoom out buttons. Obviously you can use your scroll wheel to do the same. We can change the base layers underneath, the style of the map that's underneath our data. And we can even have a blank canvas if we want. We can also interact with the data that we've added to the map and visualize it differently we can toggle that data on and off, or we can view it as a heat map. We can change the heat map opacity by sliding the bar, and we can also increase the intensity of our heat map. If we check the movable pins option, we can relocate our pins if we find they're in the wrong place or we want to update their position. The draw tool allows us to interact with our data. We can use the different shape tools to discover how much data is within a location that we draw. The freehand tool there, we can draw a polygon or a radius. And then we can extract that data to a new sheet, as I've just done there. We can also temporarily annotate the map. If we want to highlight something, toggling the annotate button will remove those for us. We can also print the map, as so. So that's it for part two, thanks for watching.